Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cut. It's been a while. It's been a been a good week or two um, since I've touched Cud myself. Um, been just kind of burning through my backlog. And I mean, Baldur's Gate came out, and I've been playing a lot of that. Um, maybe maybe show some show some love at that series. I don't know if you don't, you don't have to. It's fine. Um, we are on the hunt for some night vision goggles. That is our current goal, so that we can make friends with trolls. Um, so we're just gonna have to, you know, go and check out some ruins. That's really what we're doing right now. Uh, let me see. I don't know if we checked out Bios Biazatara. Does this mark finished quests? I feel like it doesn't. I think we didn't. I don't know if we checked out Biazatara. I think that's where we maybe got our unimpressive pistol, and this is like the second or third time I've noted that location. Um, might be a good time, good voice break actually. Might be a good time for uh, Asphalt Mines. I haven't checked out that place yet, and uh, that place tends to have quite a lot of um, good trinkets, gadgets, and such, so uh, we can pillage pillage the asphalt mines we're uh high enough level that we can go quite deep look at all these books we're getting i love this love love our uh discoveries here and uh, we got a croco medile bzz, bzz, bzz. uh we're good actually i don't i don't really want to bother with that grab these books mm, do, 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 do. That crocodile did die to a gloama fish, you know, and a saxophone. All right, we're we're leaving. Um, I don't know if we looked at that statue, did we? Shrine to Reshef. Reshef the above. We are we got lost in the marsh, which is kind of shocking. You recognize the area and stop being lost. We are leaving. I'm gonna go to the stilt first, just to set a checkpoint. You're lost again. That's fine. We're going north. We're going north. We're going north. You gain your bearings. Okay, we're going north still. North, 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 north. Uh, we can have a quick look at our skim drafters. If they happen to have a data disc for night vision goggles, I, I kind of somehow doubt... Oh, they did just restock, so there is a chance that they might. Willowy chain gun, high explosive mark three, resonance grenade, spacer, rifle, stasis grenade, wrist fan. Some good stuff, but not really what we're looking for. Uh, we'll go, we'll come out, we'll go back in. Skim drafter one. Is that the one I just visited? Pretty sure it is. The leech farmer has now restocked their inventory. Pretty sure this is the one I just talked to. Yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that do be true. Skim Drafter 2. Let's talk to Skim Drafter 2. They have... Have they restocked their inventory? I don't think they have. Fitted with beam splitter. Suspensors. High capacity. Chain gun. Eater's nectar. Sniper rifle. Nothing interesting. In fact, they still have the goods that we sold them last, so we're not very interested in that. Um, let's go and check out our third and final skim drafter. Have they restocked? They have restocked. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Drum loaded, spring loaded, woolly. Woolly's nice. Do I have woolly? I um, better check before I buy that. Reprogrammable rough coiler. Oh my goodness. I do love a reprogrammable recoiler it is so important i i will absolutely go out of my way to get that uh i don't know when we got a precinct navigator data disc but i will keep that i will keep all of these oh yeah two-faced how come i haven't learned that is that tinker two no it's tinker one how come i haven't learned that one refractive where did we get these did i buy these and forget about them um oh god this is such an expensive buy but it's gonna be worth it it is a hundred percent worth it um uh, but look at all the grenades we have we've got 
A full carbide longsword. Good to have a spare. Um, I guess we're a muta mutant, so we don't need this. We don't need the grenade launcher, although I wouldn't mind having a grenade launcher. I'm such a misery person. Like, I don't want to get rid of any of our good stuff, you know? Oh, right. We've got trade goods. We've got we've got trade goods. Look at that. Oh, we got a rough emerald gemstone. Look at all of our gemstones. Did I seriously buy these and completely forget about it? Okay, let's um, let's look through our artifacts. Sorry, not artifacts. Let's look through our data disks. And can we learn any of these? Tinker 2. Ah, we learned nav. Can't learn nulling. Can't learn refractive. Can learn spring loaded. That's a good one. Two faced? Yes, we can learn two faced. I love two faced. My favorite bat Batman villain. That's not true. I, I actually am a. I have a. I, I'm a huge fan of Clayface. Is one of my favorite Batman villains. I don't think he gets enough love, you know? Um. Do, 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 do so. Two faced. Uh, can we, we would have to modify our serene electric snail shell with serene visage. That's going to be an expensive modification. This does give us plus one willpower. Item grants bonus willpower and reduces the cooldown of meditate by 40 rounds. Can we modify this with two-faced? We can. Oh, we can't. Oops. Well, we're, we're very close. We're honestly very, very close. Uh, I could disassemble our grenade launcher. I really don't want to do that. I might actually end up using that this, this run. Give me a second. Okay. Um, well, I think that... Um, I think we're just going to have to make our way over to the asphalt mines. I do love the asphalt mines. One of my favorite places to venture into. It is a kind of a pain in the butt. It's it's not a very it's it's like I don't know It's not as fun as ruin diving in my opinion, but it's a bit safer Like it's a bit more consistent than ruin diving and that's why I don't prefer it to ruin diving is because it is so consistent You know, I don't necessarily uh, Enjoy consistency in my cud, you know, I like I, sometimes Inconsistency is is the most fun because that's where you get the most chaos now, I have encountered a few asphalt mines that have been interesting in their, you know, having having a little bit of chaos, but it was just Caves of Cud being Caves of Cud, as it generally always is, um, and not the asphalt mines being interesting. The asphalt mines are pretty tedious. <clears throat> if this is your first time watching one of my series, uh, and you're not sure what the deal is with the asphalt mines. Well, well, we'll go through it together. Is that some oil? I mean, that's a nice find. That is a decent find. We just, we've already um, found something good. We found some oil, but yeah, the deal with the asphalt mines, there's a bunch of oil here actually, is that it is basically 20 floors of some of the most tedious combat imaginable. Uh, we've got mostly fire snouts, which don't do any damage. Oh god. Oh god. You do not want to be tangling with a humor. We've got humors. Humors are probably the spiciest thing um, for the first 20 strata of um, the asphalt mines. The asphalt mines are unique, uh, a unique place in cut in that they don't really have much procedural generation to them they are very consistently generated um and uh you know they don't they don't have a lot of variety uh and that also counts for like the difficulty of asphalt mines like you basically don't find anything all that interesting or exciting for 20 strata so for 20 strata we're gonna be doing this and this is basically going to be the whole episode. I'm not going to lie. We are going to cook a meal. Um, we let's choose. Let's uh, let's cook a meal with some acid 
and um, I don't know some jerky or jerky why not 10 plus 10 acid resistance and plus 13 max health that's a good one do I not have um, carbide chef yet I have two ability points we're gonna throw those in, on intelligence just like right away and the reason being like I, I, every time I like don't I, I have to like I think about it every time I think about it every single time I'm like oh, oh do I want to take tink of course I want to take tinkering every time every single time I <laughs> I have this stupid debate with myself. I'm like, yes, I want tinkering. All of the other stuff will will come in time, but intelligence, it just it just doesn't it doesn't happen unless we make it happen. Uh, you know, I'd like to get tinkering three. We started with a fairly high intelligent character, so I would love to get them to tinkering three. That is always a goal. Um, we've got an acid humor over there. Oh, we've got a lot of stuff going on. I okay. The humor is not dead. Now they are dead. We want to get out of that acid. A lot of things going on right now. But yeah, like, I, I really don't know why I even play around with my attributes, because I, I should just always put them in intelligence. You can always, like, get strength in other ways. Got some el elastine skin suit. But, um, yeah, what makes the asphalt mines so like worthwhile is that it, it is easy it's fairly consistently easy to take on there's a couple of spicy things maybe we find a uh a spicy humor here or there but uh it's mostly just filled to the brim with cool gadgets trinkets chem cells energy cells of various types we can find a few things but we're looking for night vision goggles um, we need night vision goggles so that we can see the third troll in Bethesda Sousa. I made friends to the previous two trolls in Bethesda Sousa, and I'd like to make friends with the third one. That would actually allow us to maybe buy some secrets, which would be cool. Now, the worst thing about the asphalt mines, in my opinion, is that it's really, really boring until basically you do something really stupid and die get yourself killed you know like mashing the melee button like i'm doing which is really easy to do uh in asphalt mines because there's so many creatures here with high av yeah see exactly what i'm doing here is something you don't want to do is like mash the melee button and then get yourself in a, into a scuffle with a humor is that some fix it spray foam yeah we got some fix it spray foam Nice. What, what do we got right now? We've got 8 AV on our carapace. That's quite nice. We have a fairly tall order. Our, our character is going to be very expensive to fully equip because they have four arms. So we're going to want four Christeel long swords. I kind of uh, wouldn't mind doing like dual wielding longsword in our main hand and then short blades in all of our other hands and then go short blades uh, because short blades are one of the few um, item or weapons that like you can kind of multi-class into and um, they're pretty good although our DV is absolutely god awful so maybe that's not the way to go at all I did have someone in my comments saying that uh, DV is very valuable uh, I mean, I, I understand that it's not to come at you, bud. Um, you know, DV is great when you have some of it. But as far as I know, here's my take on DV. Um, here's my spicy take on DV. DV is valuable when you have any of it. Like, if you have 5 DV, then it's worth having 6 DV. If you have 6 DV, it's worth having 7 DV, you know? If you have one or two dv it's you know maybe worth taking something but at a certain point like one or two dv you could just say screw it i don't care about dv at all and i'm gonna absolutely max out my av as much as possible because the thing about dv is it works until it doesn't um dv is a dice roll every single time you take a hit every time someone 
takes a swing at you it you know it's a dice roll now the nice thing about the dice roll is that it means that you potentially miss damage that would go through av like for instance anything that uh like fires electricity i'm pretty sure your dv actually manages to miss that kind of uh, damage could be wrong about that i think that certain damage goes through dv anyway uh i really am not versed like i'm not a walking encyclopedia in terms of like what damage goes through av or dv i'm pretty sure electricity goes through av sorry uh, if you're not like super in on uh like the in-depth mechanics of caves of cud this is all probably pretty boring um but it's it's stuff that's like circumstantially worth knowing and it also pays to know some of this stuff when you're when you get to the late game of caves of cud i don't i used to be um i used to be someone who really doubled down and onto dv i loved dv because yeah um if you have some dv like five to seven dv you can get away with so much in the early game you can get away with so much crap like you're like the the freaking middle child um you know that of caves of cud and you can just talk absolute smack to mama cud and mama cud will be like yo that's fine you want a pizza it's cool we'll, we'll or we'll get some mackie donald's it's fine but like if you like the the very moment you you know turn a turn a say the wrong thing you say just exactly the you know oops i didn't mean to make fun of of you in that way mom i didn't mean to call you you know call you names or something like that say the wrong thing then you get absolutely slapped slapped down and uh that's you know that's the mid game basically because around the mid game to the end game, um, Caves of Cut is not very kind to DV in that, you know, you can't depend on it forever. You, but AV is consistency. AV is reliable. AV is always there and it's always got your back. The only time AV lets you down is like when it had no choice, you know, when it, it just happened to um, come across its nemesis, you know, like, it can't be blamed but dv is like yeah i mean i guess i'll uh as long as you feed me the world as long as you give me everything then i guess i'll i'll protect you and at a certain point i have like you know what i i think the dv's kind of a spoiled brat i don't know i don't know if this metaphor is working for you but um you you really have to like pour everything into dv to make it work for you and um i'd much prefer to make av happen because it's a it, you know there's a bit more tools to to double down on av you know uh there's neutron flux there's calloused um so there's skills to make it happen uh you know there's there's things that you can do there's reinforced you can modify your equipment to add on to dv or sorry av too many, too many V's going on in this entire conversation. I'm inventing armor and then having, uh, losing an argument with it. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're down in the asphalt mines. I was going to say the worst part about asphalt mines is like, it is super boring and then you die. And if you die, oh God, exactly like this, by the way. Oh my God. If I take another hit like that, I'm dead. I know that that was the hu the humor, like a hundred percent, just like pouring all of its electricity into me because it is a electric humor. Um, if I do like, you know what? Let's do a precognition. Um, and then we're gonna do a sprint. We're gonna run away. I'm gonna ignore the crab for the most part. Okay, that's the humor dead. And then we're going to tonic salve. Okay, we're good. Oh God. Like I say, asphalt mines, it, it's, um, 
No, I don't want to return to the start of my vision. It's boring until you die, you know, like until you do exactly the wrong thing to get yourself killed. And electric humors? Yeah, that'll do it. Electric humors will absolutely do it. Do not play around with humors. I have lost so many runs to that bastard slime. I hate, I absolutely hate humors so much. Yeah, we're just, I'm just blasting. And then I started blasting, you know? And then I blasted. Yeah, electric humors. I mean, the thing about them is it, you know, like, like anything else um, that has electricity, they have exactly one turn. They get exactly one shot to kill you and they can kill you. That can do it. It can absolutely do it. Let's take a dram of slimy salt. Why not? Guaranteed to be tasty if eaten while hungry. Can use stun breath at level 10. If you already have stun breath, it's enhanced by 10 levels. We do have sleep gas. I wonder if we could find the uh, the beard out there that ha that does sleep gas. Level 10 though. Good lord. That is a good one. We have sleep gas and stun gas. I think breathing stun gas means that we are immune to stun gas. I'd like to hope that that is the case. Let's go ahead and check real quick. Doesn't say that. It does not say whether or not we are immune to the effects. So we are at strata eight. We've got another 12 stat strata to go. By the way, if you're curious about what happens at strata 20, well, you can just go ahead and stay curious because that is when we are going to peace out. We will not be dipping below 20 strata. That is when uh, asphalt mines, um, you know, switches gear from like jalapeno to uh, cabanera. Oh, we have a king crab. That's a, a little bit spicy. Tard Isla's king crab. Yeah, they can be a, a little bit tricky. I won't lie. We would prefer to take them on at range. Now the thing about crabs, and you know what? Why don't we do a stunning breath? Wow, look at the range on that cone. Can we prosthetize them actually? Yeah, we can. Heck yeah, we can. We've got ourselves a king crab. Love that. Love that for us. Yeah, um, eventually asphalt mines becomes just insanely spicy. Just an absolute nightmare. Uh, very instantly. Uh, and it's, it's when we start fighting things that like, I, I honestly like don't know if I could take on the stuff at 20 strata asphalt mines if I was like level 40 or 50 even unless I'm like very clever like they require um, tactical prowess that sometimes I'm on the ball and you know sometimes I'm not we might want to like let's put it this way I might want to use that grenade launcher Okay, is that our friend? Yeah, that is our friend. We have actually three friends because that the, the king crab comes with friends of their own, which I love that for us. We have multiple crab friends right now. Pretty sure, I don't know if crabs are very susceptible to proselytization. You wouldn't think that you would convince a crab to join your religion, but hey, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad for us. Ooh, that's an advanced toolkit. Love that. Uh, yeah, go, and, go and grab that, actually. Those are quite valuable. We got some boots. Oh, we got a uh, mold corpse or mo moldy corpse. 
that splat in the middle generally speaking means good stuff and i mean this is why it's worth going to the asphalt mines is is this oh wait never mind it's just a corpse i thought maybe it was something more interesting i'm sure dude was a bit more efficient about exploring Okay, let's see what we've got. We undoubtedly... No, we, we really don't have anything going on. Wow. Amazing. We've got another carbide folding hammer. Sorry. Don't... I didn't mean to um, flicker the screen like that. That was not good. I, mean, I was trying to press the... Okay, we've got another electric humor to our like direct northeast let's get let our crab take care of that a little bit we have another king crab okay nice our our friends took care of it dude get get on board here Isakari rifles by the way are great tinkering bits because those um i'm beginning to learn just how valuable those uh those core processing units are actually worth generally speaking that's like you're able to modify like some fairly mediocre gear to like actually genuinely good gear with the core processing units i sense that i have again dipped into like higher plane uh cud business and not everyone is going to be engaged with that. That's my bad. Let's grab this carbide folding hammer. I, 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 I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what people are interested in when it comes to like how I engage with Caves of Cud. I've definitely found a format for how I engage with Cud that works for me. Like go and ruin dive, find some stuff, sell some stuff, level up, you know find some friends lose some friends oh we have oh we have tons of lurking beth over there i do not like that i do not like how much lurking beth i just found we do also have mechanimists we have a legendary mechanimist uh hope they don't die Okay, gonna check their reputation. Hated by the villagers of Naruk, hated by worms, hated by unshelled reptiles. My God, dude, that is not okay. How much reputation would we lose? Yeah, I am actually considering, like he's got so much reputation. If I killed him, it would actually be worth it. Yeah, we're up to 500. I honestly feel like we could lose. I think we would lose like maybe 150, possibly 200. I, I hate lurking Beth so much. You're, I've only recently found out how to discover lurking Beth. Um, but if you basically wait a few tiles, you have a good chance of finding them. How tough. Okay. I, okay. Physical, they have a stinger. I believe that means they have a, uh, a fairly nasty wep uh, mut mutation weapon. What kind of grenades do we have? We've got a flashbang grenade. Um, but, 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 what kind of grenades would be useful for this? This is the kind of thing that gets you killed, by the way. Um, and what is, what is it? What is, what is your friend? Mechanimus Paladin. He has a freezing carbide folding ha hammer and some pretty, pretty up there uh, armor. Well, I'm sorry, friends. Yeah, they are. Uh, they've got some mutations. I'm gonna be have to be wary of. I'm 
going to take care of their scrap shovelers first of all. We've already killed one of them. That is to say my king crab has. We've got to... Okay, we want to make sure that they stay frozen. Just going to go ahead and take... Uh, king crab friend, why are you uh, deciding to... Well, that's fine. We'll, we can take care of this guy. Let's do a... Oh, I lost my stunning breath. Damn it. We'll do a sleep gas grenade. Or sleep... Just sleep gas. Um, we are in aggressive stance. I actually think it would be better to be in dueling stance. And we'll do a swipe. Did we manage to disable them? Yes, we did. We're just going to do some damage to them. Ouch, they do hit hard. They confused us. There we go. You swell with the inspiration to name your Wachuwacha. What do you wish to? Sure. Name it based on uh, its qualities. I don't even know what this is, so we'll make it a Cranial Bane. Oh, it's Cranial Bane Amorous. Amorous. Ah, uh, we lost 200 rep with the Mechanimus. We're probably not welcome in their um, holy places anymore. However, uh, we can get that back fairly easily. We've gotten quite a bit of rep with worms, which is good. That reputation with unshelled reptiles is invaluable. So who's, uh, we've got a few enemies to our north. Oh, we managed to, ooh, there's a lurking Beth there. That could have killed us, actually. Truly hate lurking Beth. Uh, we are not on good terms with this mechanics here, so we're just going to go ahead and kill them. We'll do, we want to make sure we grab everything, because they're definitely going to have some good stuff. Turquoise tube? I mean, yeah. Uh, headlamp. Slate frock. Nothing too interesting. We, I think we got all the all the good stuff. But we have some new um, injectors. Eater's nectar injector. I mean, that was worth it. 100% that's worth it. And a sphinx salt injector. I mean, I, I believe I said that that was uh, something we were going to look for on this run. What does that give us again? I believe that you... Uh, the... Eater's Nectar is just going to give us a mutation point. Gain either a permanent plus one bonus to a random attribute or one mutation point. God, that's so... Well, I guess it's been buffed. I don't remember it giving a permanent plus one bonus to a random attribute. That's that's new, I think. I don't think that I'm going to want to cook with it. I know that that's something that is, generally speaking, a good idea, but only as a true kin. Uh, you are immune to confusing attacks. You, your activated mental mutations cool down twice as quickly. I'm just gonna take the Cedar's Nectar. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take it. Gain a mutation point. There you go. So we got a couple of mutation points. I'm gonna throw a, a couple, uh, Carapace is, I believe, at full level now, or max level. So we're gonna put some on multiple arms. And uh, we're getting pretty up there for multiple arms. We've almost maxed out multiple arms, sleep, gen uh, gas generation, and carapace. Um, so we may want to consider uh, increasing something else soon. We are hungry. We'll want to, you know, deal with that soon. Good get, though. I mean, it sucks. You know, I don't like attacking friends like that but sometimes a mechanist sometimes a friend has just made too many enemies for me to uh you know turn the other cheek friends i'd rather be friends with unshelled reptiles than mechanists if i'm being honest we have our, ourselves a ape friend and a fire snout enemy a pig, pig enemy. Lots of nice um, stuff here. Have we found any secrets? 
piece together clues and arrive at the following conclusion. Sometime in 6271 BR, after several tumultuous years, the Sultan of Qud was assassinated because of Gipeter's blessed visage. He was chosen as the successor. We got, we found some Sultan lore from the trash. That is quite valuable. So we are at 12 strata deep. Nothing too spicy yet. I'm probably going to have to end the episode real soon unless something, uh, you know, well, I guess especially if something exciting happens. Might just keep going until something exciting happens and then probably end it there. Wing. Lots of oil. Okay, nothing nothing going. Oh god. Oh, they, they really come out of nowhere, but my crab friend really took a bullet for me there There's an electric humor Very very grateful that we had a crab friend there Okay next floor we got a core processing unit One of our crab friends leveled up. Love that for them. Happy, happy that they are growing. I honestly, I really lucked out with that proselytizing that king crab. They've been invaluable. Let's cook a new meal. What shall we cook with? Let's do like, um, actually, do I have my favorite meal already? Hulk honey with congealed love. It's a good one, but um, no. Okay, we don't have we don't have too many uh, Good meals yet. Let's do like Hulk honey and maybe convalescence Ice breath at level one two and can use intimidate. That's not great Ice breath is kind of nice I appreciate ice breath Saves us from having to use some of our grenades. Oh, you got a uh, like a an Uzi. Hey, I can do that too, bud. Oh, I guess I don't have the range. Okay, I can do that too, bud. Blast. And then I started blasting. It didn't even freeze him. I worried for a second there that our crab was actually not on good terms with us anymore. But we're good. We're still going 14 strata deep The worst thing that could happen now is if I died to something really really stupid I don't know why I invoke evil like that. Just don't do that. Why would you say that? You know uh, We're actually quite close to being over encumbered so I'm not gonna pick up that folding carbide hammer Oh, we have another king crab. Okay. Uh, do like an ice breath and maybe a stunning force and uh, release gas. Boop. I'm trying to give our. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. We're gonna, trying to give our crab like the best chance. Did they both die? I think they both died. So we lost our king crab. That sucks. That's fine. We'll find another one. I, uh, one thing I, is I, like, I don't like to come to asphalt mi mines unless I make friends with crabs. And it's one of the easier things to do. It's one of the few, um, factions which I, I tend to find reliably, uh, like, I, I reliably find a reputation for. I don't know why. Um, it's just because there's a lot of them underground and legendary crabs are a thing um, But uh, 
being on good terms with crabs is great because when you go down into the asphalt mines, it's it's highly worth it. Okay, we're at 14 strata deep. I don't think... Yeah, we're still not close to the real spice of asphalt mines. And we are at 40 minutes here, so I really do think I should uh, wrap things up pretty soon. Like now, basically. But I am I just I can't help it. I have to keep going. I want to keep going. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. I accidentally fat fingered um precognition. Okay, that worked out really well actually sleep gas plus walk away plus um you know shoot no don't return to your vision i wish it didn't default to yes okay using my gun because i'm i'm too encumbered let's um first of all let's get those horse shrooms um, preserved so we're not carrying those and then do we have any artifacts nope that surprises me honestly I would have thought we'd have more stuff to um, disassemble we've got a freezing metal folding chair uh, disassemble all right Let's, uh, let's leave it there. Um, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.